Helium Inc. and the DY officially have new names. Helium Inc. has been rebranded to Nova Labs, and DY has been renamed the Helium Foundation. These announcements come with the closure of a $200 million Series D funding round. This round comes with as many impressive names as the previous ones and will enable Nova Labs to invest in the Helium ecosystem through hiring additional development resources, accelerating continued wireless protocol support, and building new applications on top of the Helium network. These changes and this funding round are major steps in the right direction for the Helium network, but there is still a lot of progress to be made. Use cases for this money cannot be any more clear after the recent and ongoing seed node issues causing a decrease in minor witnesses and earnings. Let's take a look at the details about this rebranding and this funding round in today's video. <music> What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another video here in the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. First and foremost, I have to apologize for not being here for about a week. I was not feeling very well, got a little bit sick, but I am feeling much, much better now. Fully recovered and will be back here uploading the latest Helium and HNT news and analysis just like before. Sorry again for my absence, but you can expect to see and hear from me much more frequently now moving forward. Guys, now the big news that we missed was the major, major rebranding of Helium Inc. and the DY Alliance, the Decentralized Wireless Alliance. Helium Inc. now is Nova Labs. The DY is now the Helium Foundation. And amidst all of this, Helium Inc. or now Nova Labs has raised a $200 million Series D funding round by some of the most strategic and largest partners here from some of the largest venture capitalists in the space and some of which will have the most meaningful synergy here for helium moving forward now guys a lot of a lot of things here are the same just some new names however however there is one really really big difference here when it comes to the helium foundation we are going to talk about that i haven't seen anyone mention it it's sort of buried in this article we will cover today but first let's talk a little bit here about what helium and hnt have been doing over the past week or so, as we can see, we made the first structural higher low about a week and a half ago. We then closed above the 200 EMA, which is a huge shift in momentum, huge positive sign. However, we capitulated and fell shortly after. And now we are back here testing this first higher low that we saw. We would really, really want to keep this level. We don't want to go below here. Or if we do go below, it will be a break in structure. Will not look good for helium. But right now, it seems as though we might hold it, which would be good. This, of course, though, will be for a later technical analysis video. A lot to unpack here on the charts. And of course, if we go over here to coinmarketcap.com, helium is currently at spot number 49. Not particularly good. Not horrible. But of course, always very important to see how we are performing here relative to our peers. We, of course, would love to see us closer to 40. Stay tuned for updates with the Light Hotspot update migration happening very, very soon. We might see that jump come. We might see that outperformance begin. Stay tuned for that. But guys, with regards to this rebranding, Helium Inc. is now known as Nova Labs. Let's take a look at Amir Halim's own words here at his blog post here. He gives a very, very interesting backstory rundown from Helium all the way back from 2013 launching all the way to 2017 when they adopted the crypto incentive model. Very, very interesting stuff directly from Amir's mouth. Really, really interesting to hear how they have now come to be over 700,000 hotspots on the network with five thousand cities added in the last 30 days absolutely incredible incredible numbers the size and growth and scale of the helium network has never been stronger and is growing stronger each day now i wanted to really point out and drive home the main reasoning because a lot of people are just confused why helium inc decided to do this and I think the best example or the best way to understand why they're doing this is to look at Cardano here. So Cardano is a very popular and well-known cryptocurrency, much larger than Helium for now. However, a lot of people don't realize that there has to be somebody building the platform. There has to be someone building the code, the blockchain, doing the boring work, really building the ecosystem. For Cardano, it is not called Cardano Inc. However, in Helium's case, it was Helium, was the Helium network, and the 
corporate structure was Helium Inc. So it was rather confusing. Now, even when there would be articles like this, this is Bloomberg Crypto talking about how Nova Labs now uh, is a unicorn officially, after this Series D $200 million funding round, it was very confusing because it would say Helium raised $200 million and people would think that the Helium network somehow was raising capital or Helium Inc. was issuing shares in HNT. It was very confusing for a lot of people. So I think this rebranding is helping differentiate the actual corporate structure from the Helium network. In Cardano's case, IOHK is their corporate structure. Those are the people that are actually building the code, running it, Charles Hoskinson, famously known as the founder of IOHK. They are the people who built Cardano or are building Cardano and maintain it. It's very similar to how Nova Labs is building and maintaining the Helium network. Now, with regards to other aspects of this rebranding, there is a FAQ down below. Basically, everything else with regards to Helium Inc. is staying the same. The only thing that is changing is the name to Nova Labs. Even Helium.com will remain as an educational site. So guys, with regards regards to this update and regards to Nova Labs, it's really just an update of the name. They also will have a new website here, more to come sometime this year in 2022. Stay tuned for that. I'll keep you guys updated. But with regards to the actual Helium Inc. rebranding, it's really just a name change uh, to help differentiate Helium Inc. and Nova Labs from the Helium network and avoid any confusion. However, in this article, they also, of course, touch on the Series D $200 million funding round funded by some of the biggest names in venture capital. Of course, Tiger Global and A16Z are, seem to be adding to their positions. Other people here have strong connections with Vodafone and Virgin Media and NGP Capital backed by Nokia. So there are huge opportunities for strategic partnerships here. And of course, the $200 million is going to be used to help hire additional development resources. Now, of course, as we have been experiencing over the past week or so and sort of ongoing, the seed nodes have been really a weak point here for Helium recently, and they have been working on correcting this. You can see here the request count and the receipt count are diverging. This space is not good. It means something is not functioning properly. This is some of the frustrations that we hope can be mitigated now with additional funding, additional resources, more developers, more people with networks that are able to help guide the core team in the right direction in getting this network more stable and more functional, more operational as it scales. So this is really, really good news. More money, more development, more resources, more strategic partners, all really Really, really good stuff for the Helium Network and for Nova Labs. Now, the other part of this update is the Helium Foundation, formerly known as the Decentralized Wireless Alliance or the DY. This article is written by Scott Siegel, the Chief Operating Officer of the Helium Foundation, as we can see here. Now guys, this is talking about all of the success that DY has had in contributing to the Helium Network, all of the resources they contribute, the grants that they've raised. They are a nonprofit. They have done extraordinary work for Helium, making it more efficient, making different processes and changes to the Helium network more streamlined. There is a lot of stuff in this article that outlines that sort of stuff. However, there is a really, really important paragraph here that I don't think anyone has been talking about. And they highlight it here. They even do say it's a very meaningful change, which I think is almost understated with regards to how important this change is to what the Helium network will look like moving forward. Now, there's gonna be a lot of controversy regarding this update. I think it's a positive move in the right direction for now. However, there is an open end to what they say here that could get a little tricky. Let's see. They say Say, a very meaningful change is the further distribution of signing authority. To date, the issuance of chain variables and rescue blocks has been a collaborative effort between the foundation and the core contributors with the later as the sole signer. This process will shift to include dual signing with representation from both Helium Foundation and Nova Labs. In time, additional organizations and individuals will become eligible signers with the demonstration of long-term network alignment and sufficient contributions to the Helium blockchain core code base. Guys, this is huge. Basically, what they're saying here is that in the past, the sole signer were the core contributors or was Nova Labs. They were the sole signers. They dictated what sort of rescue procedures or what sort of actions were to be taken when 
issues would arise on the Helium network. Now, it seems as though the Helium Foundation is actually an eligible signer, so we went from a sole signer model to a dual signer model. Even more interesting than that, of course, is this last paragraph, as I mentioned, more individuals or organizations can become and will become eligible signers here as time moves forward. The question is, who might that be? If I had to take a guess off the top of my head, the first person that I think of or the first organization that I think of is, of course, Multicoin Capital. I could see them wanting to become an eligible signer here for the decision-making process in the direction of the Helium Network in the future. Of course, that's pure speculation. Let me know what you guys think. If you think that's true, if you think they might want to do that, and if you think that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think right now having two signers being Nova Labs and the Helium Foundation is very, very good. They would both, I guess, have to agree on a direction or a decision in order for that decision to be made. I think that is a very good model right now. But of course, of course, the fact that this is open-ended for more signers could get really complicated and and interesting but for right now i think this is a really good thing and i don't see anyone talking about this but this is a incredibly huge structural change to how the helium network will evolve and move and adapt to changes in the future let me know what you guys think about that but there is also this article has a lot of other stuff looking forward into the future and a very extensive faq down here everything from websites to network governance to committees to all of what they're doing, including, of course, their new name, bigger team, more responsibilities. There's a lot of information down here about what they do, what they're looking to do, how they're doing it. So I will link all of this down in the description below. Take a look here, really interesting stuff, really good news as far as I am concerned for Helium, for the Helium Network, for the People's Network. Guys, let me know what you think. Do you think this is good? Do you think this is bad? Are you excited to see this? I know I am. I, I think it's a good idea to move to the Nova Labs name rather than Helium Inc. Avoids a lot of confusion, especially as I mentioned here from Bloomberg Crypto talking about the $200 million funding round. Now it will be the no, the funding round raised by Nova Labs, not Helium Inc., really avoids a lot of confusion, really expresses how the Helium Network is operating separately from Helium Inc. Guys, thank you all so much for being here. Let me know your comments and questions down below. I will try to get to all of them. It also really helps give me a direction on what kind of content you guys want to be seeing. But I can't thank you enough for being here. I'm happy to be back, happy to be reporting on more HNT and Helium news and analysis more regularly moving forward forward. Thank you guys so much. Please hit that like and subscribe if you have not already. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. But just like that, this video is over and I'll see you next.